Hello everyone, today we will learn a very new thing to how to add webhook data to a Google Sheet and then send email notifications for the same. So you are going to use webhook to get information and store them in your Google Sheet by adding a new row and then send an email notification about that recorded and that updated new row in your Google Sheet. So we can create an automation for this whole process with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger will be the webhook response then our action, first action step is going to be adding a new row in our Google Sheets and our second action step and the final destination is going to send email by Gmail. Let us learn how to do this. Let us integrate Google Sheets and email in such a way that you can use a webhook data to add to Google Sheet and then send a confirmation email so that you can also send a confirmation email and at the same time keep a record of all the submission that you have been receiving through the workflow. For this workflow, we will create an automation using Pabli. Let us quickly sign in into our account. If you don't have an existing account, click on sign up for free. And when I sign in into my own account, I will reach here this page where I can see all the applications that is provided to you by Pabli. We are going to use Pabli Connect for today's workflow. Click on access now. And as soon as you reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect, you have to click on this big blue button where it's written create workflow and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as add webhook data to Google Sheets and send email. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. Here you can see two boxes with trigger and action written over them. So the trigger is when this happens an action is do this, which means your trigger application will have an event that will trigger the flow of this workflow and then the action application will perform the assigned action. So the trigger over here is webhook. Why? Because the data that is going to be received in Google Sheets is retrieved to the Google Sheets by webhook only. But how can you click on this webhook and get the data? So in this case, pay attention to what we are going to discuss right now that we will be using or taking an example of any form builder application which uses a webhook URL to be connected. So right now I am choosing JotForm over here because JotForm integration needs the use of this webhook URL. So we are going to use this webhook URL to integrate our jot form to our public connect but we are not going to use jot form as a trigger or an action application in this workflow what are we going to do first of all we are going to create a form for this survey for example this form is for car choice survey go to settings and then use this webhook url to connect to jot form come here to integrations and then search for webhook over here here you have to enter this webhook url that you have received in your trigger in Pabli connect paste it over here complete integration and then it's done once this form is connected to your webhook that is your trigger it is waiting for a response so that I have opened this form in a separate tab let me fill the form over here this is the name this is the email address phone number okay and the prefer car type for example that Daniel prefers sedan so submit this and when the form is submitted, you go to Pabli Connect to see we have received the response. We did not add JotForm over here, but the only connection between Pabli Connect and JotForm was this webhook URL. So see the response is the name is over here together also and then in separate form also. The first name, last name, email address, phone number and the preferred card type. So this is our trigger application that is done. Now our action will be to Transfer this information to Google Sheets. So choose your action application as Google Sheets over here and the event will be to add new row because we have already prepared a sheet over here with all the columns that we need. So we are just going to integrate it. So click on connect, add new connection and sign in with your Google account where you have prepared the sheet. So when once they are connected, click on allow and then all these columns will be available as fields over here see sheet test is the sheet you are working upon and the sheet is sheet one so this is correct name email contact and preferred card type so let us quickly map our data how are you going to map it click on any empty field and then it will ask you to insert data from the previous step so click on your previous step that is the webhook that you captured so what is the name the name is this daniel give a space and then map the last name this is the name then in the case of email address, either you can scroll from the big list or just type a hint in the search and map data and then it will come over here. 
now contact is here so what was the contact the contact number was this and the prefer card type was sedan that we entered so you can just enter that and it's done click on save and send test request and then you will see a response over here that the google sheet has been updated with this information click on save and now we will check our google sheet that yes the data has been updated over here now we are going to use this email address to send that person a confirmation email about successfully filling in the details of the form so add a next action step to it which is nothing but gmail so just choose your application as gmail we are going to use the email address entered by that person and the event is to send an email connect your google applications add new connection and connect with gmail choose your google account allow and here we will be connected so pavli connect has access to send email through your gmail account you have certain details to fill over here but the recipient email address is required position so we will get this either from the webhook also and the google sheet also so we are going to take the email address from the webhook itself so here is the email address that we are supposed to send the confirmation mail to then the sender's name so the sender name is google sheets email subject is and then email content is this and here we will fill in the content that dear what is the name of the person daniel space second name comma or slash and n which is a substitute for enter key on your keyboard and then keep writing after n that your data has been updated successfully okay full stop once this is done put a slash and n and type regards okay now when this is done no file and attachment is required click on save and send test request and wait for the response from the email and here it says that it is sent click on save and let us check the email that have we received a email over here or not so here you can see that you have received an email click on the email and you can see that this was the data that we typed so basically we sent an email successfully and updated the google sheet as well so which means that our workflow has been successful let us quickly do a quick recap the webhook was used to integrate any form builder application from where you can retrieve the data that can be brought to update the sheets and then that data was used to send an email to the person that a successful data updation has been done so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pavli connect if you have any issue regarding pavli you can email us at support@pavli.com you can ask your queries at forum.pavli.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you